Hi, how you doing? Um, okay, so you'll notice on my playlist that I've added a bunch of uh, political stuff. It kind of gives a bad impression of me. Um, I'm not interested in politics. For years, I didn't even believe in voting, um, but I was talked into it because of basically the transgender community is like really important, and and there are a lot of laws that are important. So I got involved in it. I'm not a real big believer it even matters. I'm not a huge fan of politics. I'm not on anybody's side, the left or the right. I think that the biggest people in my lifetime, like Trump's the biggest idiot I've ever heard of. And I've never heard the right say anything that can be verified with reality or facts or anything that, that makes any sense to me. It just seems like a bunch of chit chat, people hanging it at the bus stop. These people these days that say they're a girl because they identify. It's like, oh, but then you t they don't even know they're, that gender's a spectrum. It's like, oh, what? Transgender people aren't trying to be a girl. They're trying to be who they are. It's like, you know, they're, well, they're, that's why there's two words, cisgender, trans. Like, like it's just, they're, they're just a bunch. There's no depth to anything they know. So I know I'm not on the right side. But I, I believe in the high priestess. I believe in the child within that believes in the magic of the forest. So... So I do come across as naive, you know, because there's all this emphasis on cartoons and comics and and uh, and being innocent. And I and I vowed as a kid that I would do that. It's very intentional. It's uh, something I'm, I'm try, you know, I believe in, and I've always believed in. It must maybe it's because of a past life or something, but it's a big deal with me. And so I I try, I realized that I want you know I hear people and I watch them react to my channel and it's, it's hard for people to connect with it sometimes because it so, seems naive in that kind of a way. Of course, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. It's about witchcraft and the high priestess. It's not about politics and, and economics and things like that. But at the same time, it is connected to, to prophecy, which of course is in the Kabbalah we know number nine, purple, yeso, the astral realm. And uh, it's just prophets astral traveling and astral travel. You can think someone has a purple shirt in astral traveling and really they have an orange shirt or something. And so, you know, uh, there, it's just humans from astral traveling from long ago. There's going to be mistakes. No, God's not a man in the sky. That's ridiculous, you know. God says, it's like, oh, then the, here, then Jesus is going to come now. It's like, come on. The Lion of Judah, Ethiopia, Psalm 87, like, like the, nothing they say, by their fruits you shall know them, you know, it's, fascism is something you do, and that's not, you know, and, and, and that's who I think the red dragon is, that's the red theme, and, and according to the, these prophecies, you know, it's going to be like a Russia, China, and other people of this red theme, but I don't think it's going to be communist, I think it's going to be a fascist, and you see Trump being his friends with the Russians, and and the Russians are starting to sound the same as Trump. And I think that it's, it's a, you know, more like the movie Red Dawn. They're, you know, that's why it says the power of our pride will break. That's why what you're seeing now, the power of our pride's breaking because we're so rich and powerful. We'll have to be broken a bit before they can take, take us over on our own soil. And uh, so, so I'm not on anybody's side. I'm mostly about voting against the far right because they're the, the biggest clowns. You know, I don't, I don't hear him saying anything in, intelligent, but the left doesn't isn't impressing me either. I think that the whole point of all this is that we'll believe in peace and that we'll outgrow war. So I'm interested in anyone that sounds like they're on the side of peace and and uh, and that war is a dumb idea. You know, and, and the right wingers are huge fans of war. They like they're. They think that educating the youth is a waste of money and building up the military is the best choice way to spend your money type people, you know. And um, right now the right-wingers are making it sound like they're the ones that can stop World War III. It's like, sense of when? You guys aren't the people that try to prevent war. You're the try to, type of people that try to start war. Give me a break. How do they expect people to believe such stupid stuff, you know? So I have all the... I've added these... Uh, uh, political uh, things, mostly from the Young Turks, I, they're the ones that I, I think make the most sense. But I'm a free thinker, so I listen to all sides of the argument. If you can teach me something intelligent, then maybe you can teach me something and it will all adapt my message, you know. 
Um, but the the far right and the people that saw on the other side of the argument, all they they're just like little babies, you know, like kindergartners, nanny nanny nanny, you know, like they don't they just name call, they don't have any substance or facts, and they and they believe the Bible is the word of God and God's a man in the sky that's going to come floating in a cloud. That's like so stupid, you know. We know better than that, you know, like, why are they against science and archaeology and things like that? It's, so, it's just like, you got to be kidding me, you know, like, you're not going to teach me anything if you're going to say something so stupid. But at the same time, I'm not on anybody's side. This channel is not about politics, but it is connected to, to prophecy, you know, because it's connected to these things, you know, it's all beyond me. It's, it's bigger than I am, you know, and so... And you do, just like how I didn't want to get involved, but I have to because I'm transgender and everybody's just big, you know, everybody's worried about what color your underwear is, you know, are you transgender, you know? It's like, what, you want to know what color my underwear is? Why? That's so stupid, you know? You know, they don't have any respect of freedom. By their fruits, you shall know them, you know? Like I say, fascism is something you do, you know? And just because I want, just because just you study communism and you learn some things from it, that doesn't make you a communist, you know, like that's their accusation. The left is communist, but the right's accu the left's accusation of the right is is that that they're fascist and it and and they, they see it, you know it's something you do and they're doing it. So so I guess I am kind of biased in that way, but at the same time I'm teachable and I'm not on anybody's side. So that's why I have these political so these political messages in my uh, this playlist, which is my thesis statement of my whole channel. Um, because, because it does matter, it is relevant, and, and I have to at least be adult enough to kind of form some kind of an opinion, but it's not like that's really what this, this, uh, channel's about. Maybe you're a free, uh, you are a right winger, but you're a free thinker and you're not afraid of me. And, and maybe I'll teach you some things that's useful, you know, and without ever converting you. I'm not trying to convert you anyway, you know, I'm a witch, you know.